Gets and Lads, on Justin and I are going to cover Jamaica's Coca Cap Nations League group that just got announced for the 24 25 tournament. Group B, Jamaica are in. I'm going to have the graphic right here just so you can read it, but I'll go over it as well. Jamaica playing against Honduras, Trinidad and Tobago, Cuba, Nicaragua, and French Guiana. So we're going to talk about it. If you guys have any opinions about it, let us know in the comments down below. Uh, before we talk about or after, uh, if you disagree or agree, let us know as well. Like the video if you if you expect Jamaica to finish top of the group. And then subscribe if you guys want more Jamaican content like usual. Let's talk about Jamaica. Who, in your opinion, Andres, are the biggest competitors in this group? Because I know my answer. But who do you think are their biggest, their biggest competitors here? Honduras. I, I mm. think they, hey, man. Honduras is a strong... It's not, it's not a strong squad, but they play really physical. And That's true. It's not, and and it's, it's sometimes it's a hard task. I mean, Trinidad, Tobago, some could argue... You know, I know you hate them with a burning passion. Well, <laughs> uh, but uh, um, but I, I see Honduras and possibly ooh Cuba. Could Cuba do something? No, uh, I, I see Honduras. Yeah, there. Nah. I see Honduras as as a threat in the sense of giving them a little run for their money. I still think Jamaica could pull out a win over Honduras. It just I think Honduras plays phys- it plays physical and plays the man more than the ball sometimes. So uh, you know, I I think. I think that's going to play a, a a role when they do play against each other. But, like, Jamaica against Nicaragua, I, I see Jamaica winning that one. French guy, mm. same thing. Jamaica mm. with the dub. Cuba, Jamaica with the dub. Trinidad mm. Tobago could be up there um, a little sometimes. It just depends on how Jamaica plays, too. It depends. I, I, and he, I, I will say, well, first of all, I will say also, I'm sorry, I did not mean to cut you off, Andres, but it also depends, too, on, we're, we're going to have a little plug here. Part two to seven eligible players. That's 14 players we talked about that, that could switch to Jamaica. There are a few players that should be looked at to move into the squad for the coca Cola Nations League. So, if the, the addition of those players could change a whole lot here. Uh, Jamaica are very familiar with this group. Uh, last year, they were in a very similar group. They played against Honduras in the same group. They played against Cuba in the same group. Uh, Jamaica finished first out of the six. Honduras finished second. I think Trinidad and Tobago here are, are their biggest opponents because for some reason, Trinidad and Tobago just always show up in in Cocacaf. Like it doesn't matter who they're playing, for some reason they're always a threat. And obviously, you know, I'm from the USA. I'm re- I'm, I'm I'm mostly a USA fan. Uh, but like, uh, so it's traumatic Trinidad and Tobago. But they always show up. Um. Against Canada, they didn't look that bad. Canada barely, barely got past them. USA lost to them again right before, uh, right um, after they are already qualified. Remember that was the the infamous Sergino Dest game, uh, where he where he shanked the ball into the stands, if, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. So I think I, I think <laughs> well he's hurt. <laughs> he, he he just tore his ACL. So we we won't I be seeing him anytime soon. Since. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Karma. No, I'm joking. For, um, um, yeah, I think Trinidad and Tobago are the toughest opponents here. If you're not beating Cuba, Nicaragua, or or French Guiana, then you there is an issue there. You, you have to beat those slightly. Three. And and if you beat those three, then you should be fine. That should mean you're going to move on. No biggie. Um, but there's always the fear there. You never know. It's Concacaf, right? Uh, I feel like a new year. Every year, there's a new team that shows up, and then the, uh, and then one team digresses, and then they switch the next year. But you should be beating. That's twelve points, and if you get those twelve points, you're, you're if you get those twelve points, you're going to qualify. You need to be beating Cuba, Nicaragua, French Guiana, and you should you should be beating Honduras, Trinidad, Tobago. If you, I think it's far fetched, I think they're going to drop some points here. I don't think they're going to make it out of the group. I don't think they're going to make it out of the group with wins against everybody. But if you if you make it out with only one draw, only two draws, you look really good moving forward, Jamaica. You look really good. Um, they played two of these teams, I think, right before. Oh no, that's that's World Qualifiers. So, so for Nations League, this is after Copa America. This is between Copa America and between World Cup. By then, you've you, you you've shown what you can do to Copa America. Hopefully, it's really good. If you don't show up here, you got to reevaluate. And it's by that point. If you're not showing up here in the Nations League, I think you have to sack the manager if you don't show up here. This this is this is an easy squad for Jamaica, in my opinion. Easy squad. Or, sorry, e- easy group, not squad. Easy group. Um, 
Who do you see finishing second though behind Jamaica? If if you're putting them first, I don't know if you are. I'm putting them first. Um, no, I'm putting no. Like it's Jamaica's first, like without a doubt in my head. Uh, I'm gonna go Honduras. Just a little repeat of the last time. I I, I think Honduras, out of all the squad, is a stronger squad. I think Trinidad Tobago show up and play that underdog role against the big teams in Concacaf. So, but er- everywhere else, they they kind of get the job done sometimes. But overall, not the strongest squad ever. But I think Honduras will get it done because I feel like they're they're average. Honduras is average, but they're consistently mm. average. So consistently like, average, hey. So hey, you know it's better than consistently bad. So it's true. Um, Someone had to say it. So you know I expect them to get second to go through into the knockouts, and yeah. then you know obviously lose them the first round of knockouts. But I I, I see them second, and then I see turn it out to Bago third, and then. And then, like the bottom tier is like kind of like a mix up, and <laughs> you know, I'm I will say I'm very interested in seeing how Nicaragua performs here. Um, Nicaragua last year, uh, it, if you don't know, if you don't know Nations League, the Nations Leagues around the country around the world are split up into like League A, League B, League C, depending on like your stature as a nation. Nicaragua last year played in League B, but they won their group without losing. They had six games, they had five wins and one draw. That was against Montserrat, Dominican Republic, Barbados. Obviously, not, t- not the toughest opponents, but I'm very curious to see what they do here because honestly, they might shock a little. They might shock a few people. I could see Nicaragua make a push for third over a Trinidad, over a Honduras, and that would be a very big statement. Otherwise, they're not finishing bottom two. They should not finish bottom two. Um, French Guiana also won the group last year, uh, but that was against Saint Vincent, Bermuda, and Belize. So that was even like a lower stature of opponents. Um, but I, I still don't think they're going to do much. I think, I think it's, it's, it's gotta be top three if Trinidad, Jamaica and Honduras, right? And if it's not, then, then you should, you should yeah. look into why you, you should be watching this group. Um, Jamaica, I could see using the nation's league to try out a lot of people, um, like by calling up a lot of younger, younger players from overseas, seeing how they react. And if they come, then you get, get a chance to see how they acclimate to the squad. I was saying, in that video, which will be released soon, I don't know if it's going to be released before or after this video, but Dane Scarlett, um, he's Jamaica eligible. I think he's the kind of player that you ask and you you, you try and make a push for because he could move over here and stake his claim over here. A lot of young players that I think Jamaica needs to make a move for. But I'm going to be watching every game. I don't know about you. And if, if anybody wants previews or reactions, we will 100% do Jamaica, Jamaica reactions. No, of course. Jama- I'm invested in Jamaica. I will never forget that nation. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> I-, I won't forget. What, what I remember watching. I watched the full game, and it was heartbreak. He's getting sentimental. I mean, Bro, hey, I, I, hey, I was with my a, girlfriend. Have... I, I got Isabel to watch. She was watching the whole game. She, and I, I remember, like, I stood up in the 91st minute. I was like, no way it's going to happen. No way it's going to happen. I was so excited because I was like, I'm going to just rush home. And I'm gonna, we're gonna make so much content, and we're gonna be so exciting. And then, freaking, who's who hit who hit it, it off of? <laughs> <sighs> I'm so depressed. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Hey, we move. It was still, it was still an experience. And you know what? Um, that gives me hope for the upcoming tournaments, for the World Cup qualifiers, for Copa America, and for the goddamn World Cup. It gives, it gave me hope. For the next th- three big tournaments that they're going to participate in, it did. I'm so excited. It, it really did. It was very. I'm mo- so excited. It, it, I'm excited for next month. Shit, it's next month. It's I, next I'm month? excited to see uh, Mexico uh, and then Jamaica. Obviously, Jamaica I think is is someone who's can surprise us a lot. I mean, we said that yeah. a lot of times, but I think this team can actually make do some, something. Um, do something and actually get out of the group. Maybe go quarterfinals. Maybe. Oh, but. but I, I can see them doing something. I'm not gonna lie. If they play well, it all depends if they if that team shows up that beat Canada that played the United States. So yeah, uh, but I think they can do it. I think they got the momentum on their side, especially if they bring a similar squad, but possibly a stronger squad. Because don't forget that squad that played the United States wasn't the strongest. It was a weak squad. It was a weak squad, but a lot of controversy around the whole federation itself at the time. But I mean, if they bring in the players, we're still waiting on the group announcement for. Uh, uh, the squad announcement for uh, Jamaica, yeah. but I think depending on that squad announcement, it could it could mean some big things for them uh, in terms of yeah. how well they do. But anything anything that advances them into the knockout stages, massive dub. I mean, overall, yeah. just massive dub for the whole yeah. federation. Yeah, 
I, I could see, I, I think for the next Nations League, at least, which we're talking about this, like the, the group here, it's very plausible they win it next year. More so than ever. We'll, we will revisit that after the summer because obviously the the grounds will look a lot different by then. But I think Jamaica has to push for a, a final appearance here. They very easily could with the state that, that the rest of CONCACAF is in right now with Canada not being there, Mexico trying to stay there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jim, this they keep is falling down, bro. They're, they're climbing they're the tumbling. ladder and then they just fall back down. They're tumbling. It's like, what is that? What is that one video game where you keep climbing up, but if you mess oh. up, like you have to restart, like at a oh, certain point dude. where you land? Oh, dude, it's something jump. I forget what that's it's called. Hero yeah, jump? But, uh, maybe. I know uh, what you're talking about. It's you know the what one I'm talking KSI about? goes, no, no, no. Yeah. And he yeah. goes, yes, uh, no. Yeah, that, that exactly. game I would be so pissed that, off. That is, that is the perfect way to describe Mexico right now. I'm going to make this through TikTok. But yeah, that that, that is. <laughs> That is where I'm at with Mexico right now. So Jamaica has to push for a final appearance. And they very, not easily, but they very well could be there in the end. And you the know what? The fact that we were saying that is crazy. Like, Jenny, like a couple of years ago, like we would be like, no mm, chance. But like now no that chance. they're pushing for a top three, personally in my top three, uh, uh, top three Cuff. contenders in terms of like we're expecting big things out of them, especially in even a Copa America with Coma Ball included. I, I think mm. it's a big step. And I think the only... The, the sky's the limit for this team in terms of uh, growing because you can't really regress from here if I'm being completely honest. It's only yeah. up. Yeah. I see it happening. If you guys see it happening, leave a like on the video. Let us know in the comments down below where you could see Jamaica end up in the next couple of years. Um, if you want content during the World Cup qualifiers, we'll be here to do that. Um, I know they start in less than a month. So if you guys want a preview or reaction or anything for that matter, uh, let us know in the comments down below. And we'd love to bring you guys content for that if we know you guys are going to watch it. Because we love you guys as Jamaican supporters. We know you guys watch our Jamaican content. We appreciate that very much. As for the group here, let us know how you think the group is going to finish, where Jamaica is going to finish in the group. If you have a hot take or anything, let us know, per usual. And uh, yeah, we're going to have way more Copa America content coming out in a couple weeks. Stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe now for that if you are not already. Notifications, you know the jazz. We have like 200 people with notifications on, which is huge. That's like a fifth, oh, really? like a fifth of our of our That's mental. Yeah, dude. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, morning, night, and uh, we'll see you guys then. Take it easy, guys. Peace.